Alrighty, well, morning, everybody. Well, um, well, I'll explain later, but, um, uh, this is, uh, time once again for my pseudocast, so, um, uh, but let me go ahead and get the music going first. Um, oh, shoot, and already I'm off to a bad start. Let me rewind this back a little bit. Okay. So, but anyway, um, the music is going to be a beautiful, beautiful death. Their isolation album, like, came out last year. So, so let me go ahead and get that going. Okay, uh, I'm sound testing it right now. And it looks like we are a bit on the loud side, so... Turn it down a little more. Yeah, I didn't really get much of a chance to prepare this properly. Um, oh, 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 and before I continue on, yep, gonna have, and this is this is purely by coincidence. I have three different flavors that I drink, but it just for the past three days it just so happens that I'm about to I'm about to drink peach mango. So yeah, but like I said, I have three different flavors, and um. I drink e I, and I drink all those flavors evenly. Like I don't, I don't chug down one 12 pack and then go to the next one. Like I'll, I'll have all, I'll have all different flavors. So, but anyway, um, I'm gonna crack one open here. So get ready for some pops. <clears throat> okay, so. This, gonna doing this, gonna be doing this a little bit different here, cause it is uh, it's 2:20 a.m. right now, and normally I do these around 4 a.m. But reason I gotta do them, the reason I'm doing this one early is because, yep, once again, no internet. Um, Spectrum is doing their damn planned maintenance, and I don't know when they're gonna be done. Well, last I heard, or last I looked, they actually have a deadline. Of 4 a.m. my time, um, but like I, I wouldn't would I wouldn't put it past them for them to go even longer. So that's the reason I'm doing this now. Is I want to be um, I want to be fully ready and right. I want it to be completely ready to go, if and when my internet comes back up this way, so I can just upload it, just like that. So I'm not running behind because like I said, I don't know when they're gonna have the internet back on. Dave, I had it back on as late as 4 a.m., which, like I said a few moments ago, is actually their uh, is actually is supposed to be their deadline for doing these maintenances. So, um, so, so what I've got going, real, I don't have, I really don't have a whole lot again because the internet cut out on me around midnight. So it, it was, I had just starting to get, I was just starting to put this cast together. So, um, but otherwise, today, fruit flies, been having a major problem with them, uh, especially today, it just, I had a, I actually had to go through and I clean out my drain, the the drain in my sink. That's where they were all uh, congregating. So I had to go down there and clean, actually go down in the drain itself and clean it out. Um, I got a, I got like a, I got like a drain cover. I it's really hard to explain how, what it looks like, but it kind of it kind of resembles a colander strainer, but the kind that you can fit over your sink drain. But I had to clean that out as well. Or no. Actually, it was hardly dirty at all. It was like, it was kind of slimy. And again, right in the actual drain itself was kind of slimy, so I had to scrub that out. And then, um, I forgot to, yeah, I forgot to grab this part. Again, the internet cut out on me when I was working on this, on this cast. So, but, uh, um, I use a product called Zevo Bug Spray. I'm thinking, and... In fact, here, give me a, 
Give me just a moment and I'll, I'll go grab it real quick. I'll look at the label. I'll be back. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, Zevo Instant Action Spray. Uh... It's designed for fruits, gnats, and fruit flies. Or flies, gnats, and fruit flies. So, and um, I got this because it's safe for use around people and pets. So, I want to say, I want to say it's um, it's organic. It's, I mean, to me, it's the only reason I can think of why it'd be a uh, safe to use around around pets and people. So, but yeah, um, I had to run out, but yeah, and I'm not saying that I'm a conformist or anything, but it's good to know that I'm not the only one that has this problem because I, um, I went to Walmart to look for more, uh, look for more fruit fly traps or actually, actually, let me out uh, back up a bit. This is actually what I use. I use, um, I use a fly stick and I use, uh, I use taro, or actually, um, I, if I had remembered to, I would have gotten a label for the, I would have brought the label, but, um, the, the bottle of taro, it actually comes with these, um, these two red apple-shaped traps. You're supposed, you're supposed to pour, or you're supposed to squirt half the bottle in one, and then the other half in the, uh, in the other, the other trap, but, uh, like I said, I don't even... I just throw those uh I just throw those traps away. I just want the liquid that's in them. So but again, like I was saying, um let me let me rewind a little bit. Um it just it's it's nice to see I'm not the only one that has this problem though. Cause like I said, when I tried to get these at Walmart, the shelves are empty. Um I went to Home Depot and there's like there's like three left. I grabbed two customer right up behind me um i can't remember what she said but i think she said something like great minds think alike or something along those lines but yeah and the, there were the last three so you know and, and and i definitely i definitely agree with what i've read you, basically to keep them out of your house you pretty much have to be an ocd neat freak like you got to keep your uh countertops, your sink, your whole kitchen, like, totally 100% spick and span. Because, um, these fruit flies, they breed like rabbits. Um, once you, once you get them, you're gonna have, pretty much have a hard time getting them out. So. So, yeah, I guess either... Either, either it's like I said, they um they reproduce like crazy, and they're all over the place, or, or I must not be I must not be the only slob in this community. But even then, I, yeah, let, 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 let me rewind back a little bit. Um, actually, my fruit fly problem, it really got started when um, um I don't, I've got this big, and I I've, I've said this in another cast too, so sorry to repeat myself, but. Um, I got, I have this aversion to taking the garbage out. Probably sounds like a first world problem, but there it is. Anyway, so because of that, I, I have a two really big, huge garbage cans. Uh, one for, uh, one for recyclable stuff and one for garbage. So I only take out the garbage maybe once a month. So, be, and, um, and I think around, at some point, I started eating bananas at home, and I would have just uh, once I've once I've eaten the banana, I just chucked the banana peel in the garbage can. But again, um, I as one who only takes the garbage out maybe once a month, you can only imagine you can only imagine how bad the fruit fly problem got. It just all of a sudden I just got just went to throw something in the garbage, and then just all these flies just. We just this huge swarm of fruit flies just 
um, just flying above the flying above the garbage can. So yeah, they're all they're all converging on the ban all these uh, rotten banana peels that were in my in my garbage. So yeah, since then, um, whenever um, I uh, put all my banana peels in a plastic bag and I put them in the freezer. So but but yeah, um, because of that, I don't think I'll ever ever be completely rid of the fruit fly problem now. So they're always going to be hiding out somewhere. Some pretty good acoustic guitar. I just hope it doesn't get flat. I just hope it uh, it doesn't get this video copyright claimed. Oh, that still irks me though. It was a, I did a, yesterday pseudo cast one. It just went near perfectly. I mean, everything just. All the moving parts work together to make a well-oiled machine. Uploaded it to YouTube, but unfortunately, it also got copyright claimed. And when that happens, um, I just um, I just delete the video. Delete the video, and then. But luckily, with um, with one exception that I can think of, all of my other um, pseudocast videos that get uploaded to Twitch are completely whole and hearty. They're complete. There's like they're unmuted. So, but uh, there it. But uh, I'm gonna say right now, the the copyright stuff is gonna be pretty much a matter for another time. Um, I said this yesterday, but uh, I'm trying to put together a full blown video about music and copyright, but it's gonna be one of those that it's gonna be a very long work in progress. So, but yeah, it's a pretty big thorn in my side, though. Oh, and um, I, and I totally forgot to mention this. Um, but um, the reason I use um, the reason I use Terrell, the the little bottle, um, is unlike uh, apple cider vinegar, which is, it's supposed to be a Supposedly a very very popular method of killing them um, The the tarot liquid that I use is actually poisonous And I'll um there's a uh, some people have had success with just pouring uh, apple cider vinegar into a bowl and just leaving it But my problem is, is uh, I have happy hands and arms so and they have I have a habit of accidentally knocking over stuff And I don't want to knock over any apple cider vinegar on the floor, because then that means I pretty much have to be OCD and get that area 100% clean. So, so I, I would just as soon as not do that. But uh, there's um, but you could also, you could also pour some into a jar and then seal that jar in like you put like plastic wrap and a rubber band on top of that jar and you poke little holes in it so fruit flies can get in, but apparently they can't get out. I mean, lazy as it might sound, that just sounds like too much work. So, so I just, I would just as soon as uh, buy a buy a fly stick and just uh, and just hang it over the kitchen sink, over over the kitchen sink, and just uh, squirt some of that taro liquid in the bottom of the fly stick, just like you know, like a little tiny reservoir. You don't have to have much. I can't remember where I I can't remember where I read it. But uh, I guess fruit flies have an amazing sense of smell, so they'll smell that they'll smell that taro liquid a mile away. And but uh, oh, I forgot what, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, uh, but uh, but uh, fruit flies they won't they won't just they won't just make a beeline straight for the food and chow down. No, they'll they'll land like nearby at first. And then, um, and then land and eat the food. So that's why I have the fly stick. I want to, I want that, I want that nearby to be on the stick to where, you know, so they can get stuck. I don't want them, uh, 
that's one of the reasons why I don't want to use uh, apple cider vinegar, because uh, I think I don't, I don't think it kills them. So, which means they can land on it, take a drink, and, or take a drink, and, and then lay their eggs, and then off they go. So, that's why I got to go with the poisonous stuff. I mean, to be fair, yeah, it's pretty expensive. I'm paying one bottle is like seven dollars. I could probably buy a gallon bottle of apple cider vinegar for that much. So. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically paying for efficiency. Cause again, I don't want to, I don't want the fruit, I don't want my, I don't want the fruit flies feeding and then flying off. I want them dead. So. So if the fly stick doesn't kill them, the liquid will. Oh, and yeah, that's, uh, and I just found another drawback to Gems of War. Or, I found a drawback to Gems of War. Internet connection required. So yeah, you gotta be connected to the internet in order to play it. So it kind of reminds me of Path of Exile, um, a game I used to play some odd years ago. Freaking, it's a great game. Too bad, uh, one, uh, my, my computer can no longer handle it, and two, um... You, again, you have to be connected to the internet in order to play it. So, yeah, I was, um, I was, um, dividing my time between putting my cast together and playing Gems of War, but then all of a sudden around midnight, I got, uh, I got, uh, something, feel unable to connect to server or something like that. Looked at the clock, it was like, uh oh, midnight. So, it's like planned maintenance shit. But, um, I'm just going to kind of repeat myself here. And, oops, looks like I deleted, looks like I deleted my screenshot. Uh, but basically, um, I said this yesterday, but on my, um, uh, here, let me see if I can, uh, oh, oh, let me back up a bit. well you guys can see that but um as a kind of a repeat from yesterday um i've started using my um i started using my obs if you can see the sources column i've been using using that as my notepad now just uh jotting down some bullet points some uh some little reminders and whatnot to you know to help me uh to help me do these casts a little better so i'm not forgetting shit so so you know my my conversation can just more easily flow from one subject matter to another so like but like I said this is another big improvement um but uh but yeah and like I like I said um some odd minutes ago too I'm beginning to put together a a music and copyright video but I think it's going to be a very very long work in progress this is not, I don't, I don't really want to rush it, so. Um, but otherwise, uh, that's, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shut her down, like I said, or no, I've said all the things I wanted to say, and, and then I'll do my, do my assorted prep work on this, and then if and when I get my internet back, then I'll just go ahead and upload it then. 
So, but until then, um, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, and hopefully I'll have an internet connection all night and actually be able to put together something decent. So, but until then, thanks again for coming around, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.